Hi, God bless you. This is your brother Ferdinand and welcome to Truth in Brief. We've been looking at powerful prayers and the more we look, the more we see. That is the thing with God's word. His word is inexhaustible. And as we continue to engage that word, we see things that we cannot see um, except the Spirit of God unveils that word to us. And what we want to see now is that Powerful prayers have to do with the size of your requests. The size of your request. So come now with me to Psalm 81 and verse 10. Uh, listen to what God says to his, to his people in verse 8 to 10. Verses 8 to 10. He says, Hear, O my people, and I will admonish you. I'm going to give you advice, O Israel, if you will listen to me. There shall be no foreign God among you. Put away all these stupid you know, idols that you are worshipping that cannot save themselves and that cannot help anybody. Push them away from your life. Nor shall you worship any foreign god. You don't need them. Put them in the trash. They've not finished solving the problems of the countries that worship them. Why are you importing useless gods that, that are not good for export by the people that worship them? Put all this trash away. And this is God's counsel to all of us. All these distractions, put them away from you. There's a scripture in the book of Jonah. It says, those who regard worthless idols, they forfeit the mercy that God wants to show to them. He said, those who cling to worthless idols, he hmm? said, all the mercy, all the grace that God wants to show to them, they forfeit it. I believe this is Jonah chapter 2 and verse 8. Let me read it for you. He said, those who regard worthless idols, they forfeit their own mercy. Those who cling to useless vanities. Somebody will cling, I will never forgive him, I will never forgive him. Why you are you clinging to that? I will never forgive him. You are forfeiting something. Don't forfeit the things that God has ordained for you where you are clinging to, to a sin or to a relationship that is not right or to grudges or to... Don't throw those things aside. That's what God is telling them here. Push these distractions away from you. I've got something great for you. Now listen to what God says in verse 10. Psalm 81 and verse 10. He says, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. It's me that brought you out of Egypt. I didn't disappear after getting you out of Egypt. I'm still in town. This is happening hundreds upon hundreds. This is very way off from Moses and Egypt and all those stories. Uh, he, God is saying, it's me that brought you out of Egypt, that broke the chains of Pharaoh, that opened the Red Sea. It's me that brought those plagues, that brought manna for 40 years in the wilderness. Your clothes did not grow old. You didn't fall sick. I was the one that sustained you for those 40 years in the wilderness. I'm the one. I've never changed. It was me that opened the rock and brought out water. I was the one that did all those things. <laughs> Now listen to what God says. God says, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. Open your mouth and when you are opening it, open it wide. God says, I will fill it. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. Powerful prayers have to do with the size of your request. You see, they say, cut your coat according to your size. I agree with that. If you wear oversized clothes, that's a problem. But pray your prayers according to the size of your God. A powerful prayer has to do with you open your mouth wide in prayer. Don't pity God. God is looking for where to display his power. Don't pity him when you are making a request. If you make the request small, it's because your heart is small. In the same prayer meeting where somebody is asking for, you know, 5,000. Somebody else is asking for 50 million. From the same God. Hi, open your mouth wide. Don't just ask for healing. Ask for a healing anointing that will set multitudes free. Open your mouth wide. When you are praying, open your mouth. Is what God is saying is, I can handle your appetite. The problem now is your hunger. What's the size of your heart? The size of your request impact on the power behind your prayers. And do you know, ultimately, you will be defined by the kind of requests you made. You will be defined by your prayer life. Nobody is bigger than their prayer life. 
all the things, any if somebody is making noise in the pulpit or somebody is called a Christian, but you don't have a private altar with Almighty God. Oh, yo, 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 no, your Christian life is not correct. I am the Lord your God. God is talking to you. Put aside every distraction. Remove besetting sins. Take away the vanity. Stop watching the trash that you are watching. God has promises for you. Stop harassing your wife so that the two of you can inherit the blessing of God together. Stop insulting your husband with Christ inside him. Because God has a plan for your family. He has a plan for your children. What is the plan? Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. I dare you to dare God. And you are going to see his power manifest in your case. Eternal Father, take away this confusion. Take away all these distractions from our lives. And draw us to the place, Father, where we can stand in faith and believe you for the impossible. And be used by you to accomplish the impossible, the incredible. For the glory of your name and for our joy. In Jesus' name, amen. Open your mouth wide. And I will feel it. That's what Jehovah is saying to you. Bye-bye.